out. I apologize in advance for the audio because the uh, it's been windy as all get out for the past three, four days. So I don't know if I can maybe block the wind from the microphone or something, but there's our uh, there's what I was finishing last night before it got dark and I got pooped. I had enough for one day. We're going to get it finished today, so there's the, there's the rest of my trench down there. You can see how the water table or the you know, the groundwater gets in there and keeps that keeps that uh, keeps that earth real moist. So normally, like when I was digging my footer, that was a bad thing. But uh, this will take take good advantage of that. It'll make that geo system real efficient. Anyway. Let's get cracking here. Have to climb up into the into the uh, digger here. I didn't cover too much about it. It's a Komatsu PC88. It's uh, what they say, uh, what they call an 18,000 pound class. So you can't you can't uh, like put it on a trailer in the back of your truck or whatever. You have to deliver it with a semi. So. And it's got, you know, plenty of umph. It has to work a little bit to get through some of that hard clay, but I guess all of them would. So, so let me uh, set you down here. Let me climb into the climb in here, and I'll show you all the controls and goodies. Okay, so I'm in here. You have your uh, your joystick and your safety there it's kind of like a park brake these are your two track controls you kind of drive it like a tank you either use your hand or you can use the foot pedals and then uh, everything's kind of modern now this thing has a little LCD display in it and uh, keys over here and fire it up Uh, of course, I have the air conditioning on, so. It has its little cages and displays and everything there. Well, make more safety first. You always look at your safety belt. down that lowers this joystick and uh, this joystick rotates the cab and uh, when you uh, move the stick left or right rotates the cab on the on the tracks and in and out makes the move go so if we use the right joystick to raise the raise the boom and then left or right curls the bucket. Of course you kind of want to go through this old test every morning anyway. So I've already checked all the fluids and everything. But if I move the move the stick left or right lines me up like that and then forward and back does that part of the boom. Pretty, pretty darn simple to operate in uh, in theory. It takes a bit to get the hand coordination for uh, you know. There's what they call single stick and dual stick configurations, and 
this would be a dual stick, obviously. So, uh, I guess it's kind of like playing drums, you know, once you get the hang of it. But uh, that takes, uh, it still takes a bit of uh, dexterity and coordination. So, anyway, there you have it. Now let's get busy. Ah, it kind of looks like hell, don't it? All that dirt piled up everywhere. Now about two-thirds of the way through the third ditch. And uh, I got to put some diesel in the, in the excavator there. So we're almost, almost done with that. Now we'll get that third line down in there and fill this all back in. And, uh, get back to looking a little normal. So... Anyway, stay tuned. Now I'm here to tell you that is one long trench. That trench is almost 250 feet long. Then it hangs left and goes on up towards the house. So that's our third and final trench. And it's really kind of a funny thing, you know, with me and an excavator or track hoe, whatever you want to call it. Of course, I would never attempt to try and make a living at operating one of those things. But uh, it's funny how I dug a straighter trench just by doing it by eye. Then, uh, you know, I sp we spent like an hour putting down lines and strings and everything like that. And uh, the wind was blowing so hard with the string that it, uh, it bowed the string. And... Uh, it didn't really show up until you actually followed it and dug the trench, and, uh, and the trench had a had a hook to it. Not that it matters. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it just pisses me off because you know I wanted a nice straight trench. So, not that this one's absolutely perfectly straight, but straighter than the other two. But anyhow, so oh, Tammy's sitting there spreading out the lines. And I'm gonna start uh, start filling it, filling the trench in a little bit here and there, and uh, then we'll uh, we can uh, uh, redo our other our service water line that actually comes across those three. We just have a, a rubber hose across it now, so we can move it around. So we were able to cut those three trenches across there, uh, but now we gotta uh, we gotta. You know, put our water line back in place. So, anyway, stay tuned.